what is up y'all welcome to another episode of bring the dream alive let's go ahead and roll that intro Alright, so this episode right here, if you're new to this channel, what this episode is all about is all about bringing the dream alive DIY. And this channel right here is seven different series captured one series a day. And this series right here, this episode, is going to be Bring the Dream Alive. In our previous video of Family Time, my girl purchased this boat. This is her boat, but I'm going to show y'all how to readjust this front mount on a boat trailer. This is a magic tilt trailer. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to break it down. It needs some readjust adjustments. It needs some braces. Then this boat right here it needs a couple of more little things. But the major thing that I'm going to go ahead and set up is a bilge pump and the battery there is a battery but so there's three things in this video one the front mount two the bilge pump three the battery so let's go ahead and let me get to the mount whatever you would like to call this i really don't know <laughs> So let me go ahead and get into it. So you can see this mount right here, this the trailer hitch crank. You can see this wheel. This wheel is actually on top of where the boat, where the clamp's at. So first thing first, I'm gonna get my tools and the back side right here, there's some screws and there's some other holes for adjustment, for placement for this. So I'm gonna take this, lower this down so this roller is underneath right here. So this, the roller is gonna fit right here and this clamp is gonna be on top of this right here. Then these right here, they moved. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust this. Then I'm gonna put some set screws in here on both sides or I might drill a hole all the way through. I'm unsure of that first. I gotta see what I have in my shed. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. And I'm gonna make the boat come forward, come forward because where it's at right now, it is, you can see right here, it's probably about a good six inches back. So I need to move it forward. Let me go ahead, get my tools, get everything, and readjust that. Real simple, quick little fix of bringing the dream alive. I readjusted this real quick. It, I just dropped it down one hole, but I can see already that as I tighten this up, it's gonna be right here. Like is this right here is gonna get sucked up in the winch. So what I think's happening is, in this case, is this right here is too far. It's it's too far forward and it needs to go back more. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust this. And once I figure out what's going on, I'm gonna let y'all know. So y'all about to fix this if y'all having this problem on y'all trailer. All right, 
So all I needed to do is do some readjustments and it's gonna line up like this. I know this isn't 100% correct. I know it's not 100% correct. Probably this boat is not designed for this Pacific trailer. But in this case right here, this clamp right here, this mount, this right here, it, it's there's a gap. And you can see right here, it's barely on the, the boat, on the bow of the boat. So it might want to bounce up and up and down whenever it's being moved. So all I'm gonna do is put a safety clamp here. And I'm gonna run it down to here, to the frame. Through here, I'm just gonna run it down so the boat doesn't jump up. Or I might put something here and on this side and run it underneath. I'm unsure, but now this is, this is where it needs to be. I readjusted this, moved it forward. I'm gonna put some bolts in here so it doesn't move. And I have it lined up perfect now. So let me get some screws and put them in there. All right, so in this case right here, I'm not gonna go all the way through the frame. All this is gonna be there for is just to give it more support so it doesn't move. I got these roofing screws. They might not be 100% the best, but they'll make do. They'll work. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a, a pre-drill hole, a pilot hole more or less, say. Drill that, now I'm gonna screw the screws inside of it. so my battery died <laughs> all right so my battery died but I screwed this one in right here I got that one I'm gonna do that so hopefully that helps y'all out on that right there on making sure your trailers the frame of your trailer is correct I know it's not much but some people you'll run into problems like that buying boats with different trailers stuff like that so let's go ahead i'm going to show you how to uh how to hook up a battery and how to hook up your bilge pump for your boat with a toggle switch not a automatic float system all right this is the battery box we're going to be using it's got the connections inside the battery is going to fit in this is going to go on top like this and it's got the terminals on the outside. And the cool thing about this box is, it's got some ports where, you know, everybody uses, they call it a cigarette liar back in the day where, when I grew up. So you're about to put your cigarette liar in there, charge your phone, do other things. They got one on this side and they got one on that side. So box is very, very, very cool. Highly recommend it. Then, I just have a bilge pump, a little, a little bilge pump, and uh, we're gonna wire this in. I'm gonna show you how to wire this in. So let me hook up the battery first, then we're gonna uh, go ahead and jump into the bilge pump. All right, so this boat right here, I just wanna let y'all know that there's not a lot of room. Now I know this console is real low. We're gonna raise it up, but this is just temporary just to get us on the water little bits and do a little bit at a time more or less say so i ran the power wire ran it there's a hole there's a hole right here i don't know if y'all about to see that but there's a hole that runs through this seat right here i ran the power wire through and i put the battery box underneath the console right here it's underneath and all we're gonna do slide the battery box out put the battery in there hook the battery up and put it in there and hook the terminals up right here and you can see right here there's no connection so i'm gonna have to go and get a connection for the red for the power red means power so let me go ahead hook this up and test it and make sure everything works Alright, 
So I got the battery hooked up. Moment of truth, the test. It works. That's good. So, since that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and now run the bilge pump. I'm gonna run the bilge pump and get the bilge pump ready. Then uh, run to the store for it. that clamp, for the clamp for the power wire, and uh, a couple of other little things that I might need. All right, so I wanna get my volt meter because I might need my volt meter. I needed it for the battery to test the battery, make sure the battery was charged, make sure I did step by step. I probably should have video that for y'all. But some people don't have both meters. So, all right, so I open it up, the bilge pump. It comes with two power wires. All right, so I know that this black wire and this power wire, when they're hooked up on the battery, it gives it power. It turns this bilge pump on. So I know these two. Now this one right here, I think this is a float. Once the wire gets to a certain level, so then it comes on. I'm not really too much worried about that one because I really don't like hooking up like that because the float, sometimes they get stuck, it kills your battery and the list goes on. I cleaned up the spot where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it directly in the back stern of the boat, dead center, pretty much dead center. I can't put it dead center because there's a keel right here, a brace. I'm gonna put it right here, I'll wipe it all off. But before I put it, this bilge pump, it comes disconnected. And I don't know about y'all, but like, when I put a bilge pump in a boat, I always, always have this problem that it moves around, jumps around, flips sideways, everything like that. So in this case right here, you can take this bottom piece off. You get you some marine silicone, marine silicone, get your rag, wipe it dry, make sure it's nice and dry, wipe the surface that you're going to be putting it on, open this marine silicone up, I need a knife. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Got the knife. Cut that. Get the marine silicone. And we're just gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch in the area. I'm just gonna put a little bit. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it down and let it cure. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go run to the store, get a couple of pieces that I need, a couple of parts that I need, and uh, I'll be right back. So I went to the store, I got everything I need for the boat. This is the extra bilge pump hose. Uh, need a light breaker bar, and uh, got a couple of safety issues some hand flares air horn and a whistle and she was like well why we're buying a whistle if we have an air horn well we got a little air horn in case the air horn goes out and you got a backup way of making noise and we got one of these. So right off the back, got a little dry box. Done deal. Everything that's gonna be going in here is gonna be all safety stuff. This is emergency kit. I believe all boats should definitely have one like this. So let me get back to the bring the dream alive DIY so where I left off at was we was laying the silicone dry for the bilge pump so that's done I'm gonna clamp that in there and hook up the hose wrong size wrong size
bought the wrong size hose. Gonna have to get the right hose. So besides the right hose, let's go ahead and let me hook up the wires. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and feed the wire through and run it to the front. Alright, this is where this is going to come and play at. This is a power strip. This is a power strip where pretty much I'm going to mount this run a power wire it's gonna have fuses for multiple different things all right so i did a little readjustment i picked this console i picked this up a little bit i rebolted it but you can see right here i put the bracket the power bar breaker bar whatever you want to call this um i put this right here yes this screws a little too long i gotta get some other screws I'm trying to get this done temporary this is all temporary this console setup is temporary because we're gonna get some more stuff i have my power wires i'm gonna go ahead and run my wires i got my toggle switch i'm gonna get everything ran get everything set up i ran my power and my ground wire from the bilge pump ran it and i hooked it up hooked up the ground to here to the brake bar then hooked up the power wire to the switch then from the switch i ran a jumper hooked up to the power right here then i have my main breaker breaker bar ground wire and power wire running to the battery hooked up to the battery that easy all i gotta do is get a fuse now but the main reason that I got this like this is so I could hook up multiple things and uh, have fuses so I don't burn anything up. That's what it's designed for. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and clean everything up. All right, so I cleaned up my mess. I got everything picked up. And I didn't go get a fuse yet. I will go get one before I go out and take the boat. But let's take a recap right now. So fix the front mount, fix the front mount, got that taken care of. Next thing, readjusted this, made this higher, put the battery box, put the power bar, hooked up the bilge pump. I gotta get a fuel switch. I gotta get the bilge pump hose, the correct size. Uh, I changed this light then then do a video on how to change the light that's pretty simple in my opinion uh next thing is you remember how i was talking about the front how it's bumping up i solved that problem so my intentions was to take these hooks and it was gonna be big enough to go right here that won't work so i have a strap that has a clamp like this and on the opposite end there's no hook that'll work for now now I'm gonna go ahead we'll use these for the back That's it for this video so hopefully this video helps you out in some type of way maybe you might see where I made my mistakes or whatever but if you're watching this video on Facebook that means you're 30 days past you and your free monthly subscription so go ahead hit the link hit that big red button that says subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of 
bring the dream alive. Outdoor dreams, family time, street dreams, questions and answers, business tips and tricks, all of my videos. Stay tuned. Other than that, stay living the dream.